Hello, hello, we meet again here in this space. And if you are unfamiliar with where this space is, I will inform you of that. And it is my space here on YouTube, possibly Rumble, possibly TikTok, and Spotify. <laughs> so I want to thank you as always for being here. And the space is Terrestrial Aura. That is my handle that I go by on the internet. My name is Tara and I welcome you here and I thank you for joining me. And as I always mention at the opening of my podcast is that everything is dependent on my son Aldrick. Currently he is having some milk and I'm putting him to sleep. So we shall see if he allows me to continue recording as I am. Never mind his little grumbles in the background. (laughs) Hopefully they don't distract too much. It's actually kind of funny. Um, I'll share a little bit of something before I go on to the topic I have here today. But um, every once in a while, I'll have him in my TikToks and I'll be talking about something completely unrelated to the amazingness of Aldrich. And it's so funny because I'll get comments and they're all about him. So it's like, eh, point missed. But hey, who cares? (laughs) But either way... I thank you for being here, like I said before, and today started in a different type of way. Um, I'm just going to kind of give you all some insight into how it all began, how we got here, how we got to this topic. So about a week ago or so, I was on a on a ramble of just kind of like doing different things, recording and, and um, just making content. And I happened to see on Instagram an artist, a musician, that I, you know, I've never had any issues with. I always thought she was pretty interesting, pretty cool. Um, But she is singing a song about making all guns illegal, making it illegal to have guns, pretty much for the people. And I, like, started thinking to myself, and I was like, you know, it is so amazing how these artists have these giant platforms and so many people listen to what they have to say. They listen to their music and they listen to their words. And a lot of times these artists and these people, they'll put out content of things that they haven't really properly informed themselves of and on. And I started thinking about it and I was like, I wonder if she realizes that If you make guns illegal, criminals don't really care. You know, criminals do not care about the legalities. Do you think that most of these massive incidents that have occurred are by people who legally obtained their weaponry? Because if you really go back and you look at the statistics, it's not there to show that. And... There are a lot of variables to that equation. So something inside me was like, "Mm, just make a little comment and just kind of see, you know, maybe she'd be open to looking into that before, you know, she keeps going on ranting about her stance being so right and above all. So I made a little comment completely not aggressive in any way. And nothing really happened. I was like, okay, whatever. Who cares? Made a little rant on Twitter and um, shared on Rumble as well. And that was it, you know. Moved on with my life. And then today, um, well, actually, let's go back to yesterday. Yesterday, we get on Instagram again, and I see another one of her things pop up, and she's wearing a shirt, and now she's promoting it even more. And I'm just like, wow. She really thinks that that is a solution. And I'm like, a lot of people do. And then I started thinking about, okay, there's a lot of information that's going around. It's actually misinformation. And the way that the term misinformation is being used oftentimes is for people more of my stance that are being told that it's not correct to think critically or to think analytically or to think outside of the mainstream narrative of what we're often being told. So I make another comment and I mention the illegal people coming over the border. I said undocumented. That's what I said. I said undocumented people. And I was mentioning how, yeah, let's take away guns from people who literally go register and have tracking identifiable means 
to be associated with their weaponry. Let's make those illegal for them and let's keep letting it be otherwise. And what's that going to create? Pretty much an imbalance and it's going to create a problem, an issue, because those who are actually properly trained and aware of what they have and and knowledgeable and documented on paper, those people will no longer be of anyone's beck and call when the people who didn't take those means and those measures come out and do the things that they could possibly do, especially with so many people at this current time being undocumented. Okay, anyway, so night goes on. No worries, no thought about it. Then the next day comes today. And I happen to, for some reason, I always have an intuitive hit to tell me, look at this. So I looked at her story. And what is it? It's a picture of my comment with my name blinked out and someone saying that's why America has the highest crime rate, which was a stupid, in my opinion, my opinion, right? Stupidest comment stupidest comment because it's just like okay you can start to see the levels of ignorance the levels of i did not inform myself of anything before i wrote this post originally before i made this video before i commented before this before that before this whatever like who in the world creates a whole song without any real true awareness of the situation that they're talking about and then i started thinking to myself oh a lot of musicians do a lot of people do a lot of people with the biggest platforms are creating the most problem and the conspiring of their theories is inspiring people to believe in things that make no logical sense so here we are now so after that i obviously you know i responded to her story and said something and then um tweeted a little something but nothing directly pertaining to her and i just got into the mood of like i need to record because this is something and it's not even the topic of guns i really don't care what your stance is on the gun topic like if you believe that they are so bad then believe that that is not a problem if you believe that immigrants people Oh, 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 back to that. She, on that, she wrote, you do know I'm an immigrant, right? And that was the thing because I, like to myself, I kind of just said to myself, like, I don't care. Like, I don't care because you were also here properly documented as an immigrant. It's one thing to come here as a legal immigrant. It's another thing to come here completely undocumented and completely unaware of our laws and our ethics and our society and our culture and not care. It's almost like shitting on someone's society to just think that you shouldn't have to abide by all the other things that every other country would make you abide by. If I were to go to another country, say I wanted to go to Turkey, I think it's beautiful. I want to go there and visit. I would love to take a vacation there, but will I have to use my passport to go absolutely i can't just take a flight and go any country i want and just be there with no proper identification them not having any documentation of my presence being there in case i were to cause any kind of impact on their society so why should we live in a world to where that's how things should be so anyway so that's how i got how that's how i got here just to give you a little rundown and then i got to thinking about how ignorance is the biggest threat on our society. It's the biggest weapon of mass destruction. And anyone who says different is a victim of that brutality to an extent. Because a lot of times we have caged and we have put ourselves into these compartments of these ideas and of these beliefs and of this right versus wrong or this black versus white. And what that does is separate us from the blurred vision of it all conjoined, how the bigger picture is seen, how the picture when you skew out of it being so zoomed into one spectrum like one one spectacle of the spectrum whenever you take yourself and you move yourself away from that focal point you can start seeing how there's various focal points and all of these focal points have some point in which they stand from in which they can see from just like the topics that we've recently had about perspectives it all goes hand in hand Whenever we can become aware of other issues pertaining to the issue at hand, then we have nothing left 
to do but expand our information on that topic, to expand our awareness on the issues at hand. But whenever we constantly think that everything is to be offended by, everything is something that we should walk on eggshells and we can't voice our own opinions on a matter because the ignorance is thriving so deep that in order for you to even speak any kind of intellectual, informative information, it's looked down on. It is almost as if we are living in the movie Idiocracy, and it is terrifying. We are moving in the direction of no free thinking, and we are losing touch with humanity and calling ourselves more humanitarian. Why is this? Why is this occurring? And if you ask yourself that, and you truly ask yourself with means of trying to figure it out, you'll see that it's because a lot of people who have power, and this power can be through politics, through media, through music, through influence on social media. A lot of these people, most of these people, very few of these people are not a part of the problem because they are spewing out information and ideas of things that they themselves are unaware of. And when we have a society that is thriving off of spreading what some would say misinformation, the true, the truest of forms in which I can capture through this conversation, form of misinformation is that the misinformation of wanting you to miss information, literally making people miss the information of the true form of the topic. Whenever you can give someone a brief synopsis of something and claim that it will help them, they will believe it and they will move into the recognition of that pattern and they will think that that is the right way and they will they will live off that idea and they will spread that idea and that is how the human masses of consciousness is conquered. And now if that isn't terrifying, what is? But at the same time, we can't live in fear of that. We must just live in awareness and see it. Because if we live in a fear of it, then what more are we than a fear-based living reality, which many others are? There's actually a measurement that 80% of the people of the world are meant to be of that mentality. And there's 20% of critical thinkers out there. And that makes me wonder, it makes me wonder what, I hate saying this, but what hope is there for humanity when humanity can't even see itself? Will humanity wake up? Is there some immunity from the madness? that can be taken to be able to remove the blinders of the scope in which we've been put into the lens of seeing out of and thinking that that is the only made belief because it was already formed? Is there a way that maybe the masses can start to form their own beliefs or maybe even just someone in power to come out and speak on things that go unseen? I give so much credit to the the creators and the people, the journalists, the, the reporters, the people out there who are actually doing the work to spread the messages of awareness. And all those that are out there pretending to be doing that work, because there are very many that are, that are actually separating people from the actual (laughs) idea of the idealization that has been formed, I really hope that those people will stop because that is a problem as well. Because in this world, we are at a war, in a war with information and ignorance and the lack of information pertaining to the idea. And anyone who is saying that information is not important 
is unaware of how information is at the core of the basis of the foundation which has structured the society we live in. Whenever we are fed information that is not valid, that is not true, that is not accurate, when we believe in these things, we become a statistical factor of that belief, giving it more momentum to move through time and more belief as the seed of it is spread and it's sown and it's harvested and it's actually taking its own form. Imagine even the idea, the belief of money. It is an egregore in itself. It is literally something that we believe in, that we have made so. So when we realize that when we make our beliefs from our own point of view, from our own information that we have gathered, whether it be through the experience in which it has been gathered from or the information of the awareness of seeing how everything is playing out to be, then maybe, just maybe, we can see more people become aware of what is truly going on. And the thing is true. Truth is in the momentum as it changes. Truth is nothing more than a a moving awareness of something that matters to you and what you believe it to be. True for me is not true for you, as true for you may not be true for me. Because truth is a varying topic. Because one person can say it's true that yes, I am 37, for instance, 38, whatever, I think I'm 38, so we'll say my age. And then say their birthday comes, it is true that they are no longer that age. And they are no longer that age. So what is true at one point can sometimes become false at another point in the perspective it is given or the point of view in which it is received or whatever form it is concocted to come to you. So just reminding any of my listeners here, anyone who comes across this message, I really am not here to sway you on your beliefs by any means, but all I am asking, I am begging of you is to open yourself to new ideas, new opinions, new perspectives. And when you stand so solid and so still in something that is an unmovable truth, ask yourself, what happens if I nudge that truth a little bit? What happens if I move it just to see what's under it? What really would change if it's unmovable? Then see if it really can move. Because if it can move, guess what? It's not an unmovable truth. But yes, that is going to conclude this rant today. And I am glad that I shared this with you. Um, I know as soon as I leave this space, I'll think of a million things I wish I would have said. But for now, that is all I have. I do intend to be back soon with more content. Um, I do ask that everything I say, take it with a grain of salt because your perspective is your perspective and that is valued and that is something that I feel like we all need and I'm sure you can hear my little cutie over here making noises in his sleep but yeah, (laughs) he says hi in his sleep, I can can just feel it (laughs) but yes, alright I will be back soon, don't forget if you enjoyed this content give it a like, share and subscribe, and please leave a comment. And also you can find me on all other forms of social media, most I'll say, at Terrestrial Aura for now. And I thank you so much for taking the time to share this space with me. And I wish you the most incredible, amazing, and beautiful momentum of your now. Thank you for listening.